So you're doing keto, counting carbs and calories, and all you're eating is protein and mayonnaise. You're dropping weight, but it's been weeks since you've been able to enjoy a glass of wine. I know what you're going through, but fear not. We are going to teach you how to drink wine while on keto, and I'm gonna push you right off that wagon in this special episode of The Wine Chemist, Keto Edition. For a keto diet, while choosing wine, carbs and sugars are what we need to consider. First, be sure the wine is dry. Stay away from inexpensive box wine, off-dry whites, and rich California reds. They often contain added or residual sugars to soften the acids and tannins. Lean towards dry Mediterranean whites and tannic European reds. You can stay between 2 and 4 grams of carbs per glass. <laughs> Even though a bottle of wine may contain less than 20 grams of carbs, it can be as high as 700 calories. On keto, you still want to watch how many calories you're consuming. But because in the US, alcohol is monitored by the Tax and Trade Bureau and not the FDA, there is no nutritional information required on the bottle. Surprise! Don't be hoodwinked by gimmicky brands that print that. They just have clever marketing departments that appeal to the label junkie in you. It is not official, and it's not cool. No! Watch your percentage of alcohol to keep your calories low. When looking at dry wines, it will be the reds high in alcohol that have the highest calorie count. When in doubt, order a glass of sparkling wine. But be sure it's labeled Brut. Dry and extra dry contain much more sugar. One glass of Brut Sparkling is only 95 calories and less than 2 grams of net carbs. If you are trying to maintain a strict keto diet and stay below 20 to 30 grams of carbs daily, think of a glass of wine like a handful of potato chips. Neither will kick you out of ketosis. The key to sticking to your diet is when you splurge on some wine, keep it in check. Barbara, please! When the alcohol kicks in, so does poor decision making. Two glasses of Chianti can very easily turn into a bottle, and then that handful of chips becomes the entire bag. Trust me. And until the next time on The Wine Chemist, here's to experimenting with wine. Cheers. Get in shape, girl. You love the feeling. Get in shape, girl. It's so appealing. Join me this year at the Provincetown Food and Wine Festival, November 4th through 7th. Cheers. See you there.